This is a phase separation ring, which uses inversion energy. It has a large output, which requires processing of tens of billions of units of data per second. According to the scan results, the structure that appears to be a computing device is full of vulgus artificial brains. This is how they are processing all that data. Continue to insert vulgus artificial brains into the computing device descendant. If you overload the device, the veil will be neutralized. The enemy commander is using the base separation veil as a shield. If you overload the computing device, you can create an opening to attack the commander directly. <laughs> Hello fellas, today I'm gonna tell you about the best ultimate bunny build after almost 500 hours in this game. First of all, I want to show you difference between regular bunny and ultimate bunny. Let's check a regular bunny and check our stats. You can see at right corner my basic stats when I choose regular bunny. Probably some attributes can be affected by some modules, but it's not so big difference as you can see. The main reason to try to unlock and to make build with the ultimate bunny it is her high voltage ability. In this case you can highly improve your main DPS ability, lightning emission. Check out basic skill damage, 150% multiplier. And check out skill cooldown, 30 seconds. So let's equip high voltage and check the difference. Only this one module added us 100% additional skill power and decreased our cooldown up to 22 seconds. In this case, I don't need to use any modules to decrease my cooldown. Personally for me, 1 second cooldown does not matter for me at all. Second main ability it is speed of light, and the next modules we will use to decrease its mana cost. That's why I use strong mentality, which decrease kill cost by 15%, and as option maximize conversion, which decrease your skill cost by 35%. As a result, our ability requires only 6 MP instead of 12. If you, if you don't want to sacrifice your skill power, you can use Enlightenment, which also increase your MP and you do not lose your DPS. Also, I use MP Collector, which gives you MP when you kill enemies. Now you can see how effective it can be and how long I can sprint. In this case, you need to remember that all that time I can collect consumable consumables which give me MP from enemies, and also I will gain MP for enemy kills. These three modules is enough to get unlimited MP. 
Again, for me, it's even enough when I use enlightenment instead of maximi maximize conversion. They have a same socket type, so you can try both and decide for yourself which one is better for you. Next one module which I use it is Disseminator, which gives you 5% additional damage for each killed enemy under some sort of debuff. As a result, you can get up to 50% additional skill damage. You can check out this buff near your bunny, and when you attack your enemy, they will got electricity debuff, and after you kill them, um, you can see that you got for each kill additional 5% skill damage. Up to 50% as I said you previously. Next one module is basic for all bunnies, it is electricity specialist which gives you electricity skill damage, and it is singular specialist which gives you singular skill damage. As option you can check out focus on singular, if you want to decrease your cooldown and you ready to sacrifice your damage. Necessary to mention, if you play regular bunny, you can exchange high voltage with electric condense. This one module will improve your ultimate ability. This one ability gives you opportunity to make 2000 damage in radius around you. Now you can see example how it works. Also, instead of Disseminator, you can use Dangerous Ambush, which gives you 25% additional skill damage if you attack enemies which do not focus you, and also you will get additional 50% damage against an immobilized enemy. Next one it is Skill Expansion, which increase range of your skills. To improve our DPS, we also use Skill Insight and the Skill Concentration. They give you 115% critical rate and 115% critical damage. Last module I use for survivability. What about reactor? As option I use one which gives electric skill power and singular skill power. Same about stats below. Also, with this build I got 21% critical rate and 2.8 critical damage multiplier. Another reactor option it is one that give you critical rate and critical damage. In this case I got 24% critical rate and 3.2 critical damage multiplier, but I lost 10% of damage, as you can see here. My component's choice is questionable, because supernova set sounds like perfect for bunny, because it increases your electric skill damage and gives you additional ability to improve your DPS. But the main disadvantage of these components that they give you max shield, max shield, defense and defense. That's why I use Annihilation set, because it gives you defense, defense, max HP and max HP. You lose perfect ability for you, but you can get additional stats that you need for your hero. That's how I got 8000 plus health and almost 14000 defense. What stats I tried to get on my components? Max HP, MP recovery, max MP, shield recovery, but actually I tried to get here MP recovery. It will be better option in this case. Next one, MP recovery modifier, defense, shield recovery modifier and max shield. Press like, check other videos, write your opinion about this build. Good luck, have fun!